All right, well, I've rebooted into the Podzilla interface. Uh, to do that, you hold down Menu and Center button. If you notice, I have uh, a different look on the iPod. What I can do is go to Settings, and in the Settings, you can go to Appearance and change things like the color scheme and uh, I tend to like it's called uh, M robe. Um, the other interesting thing about Podzilla is in extras you have some new options for your iPod. You've got recording, you can record high quality audio depending on which iPod you have. You can uh, use a calendar, calculator, clock, games, uh, a ton of games here if you're interested in Pong or an asteroid like um, clone, um, tucked chest, there's even a little vortex demo that uh, looks really interesting. Um, the other neat thing is under stuff, you can do things like a um, little matrix screensaver, it's kind of fun. And uh, also there's uh, this fun little uh, mandel things that uh, plot out interesting math, which is kind of neat have on your iPod. Um, but I guess the most interesting thing with Podzilla, especially right now, is uh, you can play video. And the latest build has video with sound. And I'll first play you a video without sound, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And this is someone diving off a diving board. They don't quite make it, so it's kind of funny. And then the next video is uh, one of the few that I've seen that can actually play sound at the same time. So uh, as soon as this starts up, I'll raise the volume, and you can watch and see the video on an iPhone. That's it. Video on an iPod and a bunch of other stuff, all thanks to Podzilla.